Welcome to Keys to English. We wanted to start a new series of videos related to training for teachers. But before dealing with classroom management, learning and teaching styles, error correction, etc., it is better to start with differentiating between an approach, a method, and a technique. For this video, we will deal with definition of these terms according to Anthony. Anthony defines an approach as a set of correlative assumptions dealing with the nature of language and the nature of language teaching and learning. So, an approach gives us a vision, an idea about how teaching and learning can effectively be done, taking into consideration the nature of the language. An approach is general. It is a broad view. An approach can engross multiple methods. It is holistic and long-term. An approach is axiomatic. Example of approaches, we have, for example, behaviorism, which states that the human behavior can be understood by the relationship between stimuli and responses. The story of the dog with the ringing bell. For the method, Anthony views method as an overall plan for the orderly presentation of language material, no part of which contradicts and all of which based upon the selected approach. A method is the plan, the way the approach theory is put into practice. It deals with the skills, the content, and the order in which the content will be presented. It is the way that teaching is done. A method is procedural. It is consistent with the given approach. An example of a method. We have grammar translation method, whose main objective is to master the grammar rules of the foreign language and practice translation. A technique. According to Anthony, it is implementational, that which takes place in the classroom. It is personal. It is the personal style of the teacher. It deals with the way immediate objectives can be accomplished. And of course, a technique is consistent with a method and the method is in harmony with an approach. Examples of techniques. We have group work, projects, dialogues, discussions, etc. As you can see, an approach englobes both a method and a technique. The method is between the approach and the technique. The technique is in the center, which is very important because it has to do with the style of the teacher, the lesson we want to teach, the level or the background of the students we will be teaching, and the ways of relating with students. Despite the fact that there are many and many methods, very few, not to say no teacher, has ever followed a single method in its entirely. In fact, there is something called personal methodology. Each teacher develops his or her own personal methodology through their teaching years. And later on, we will work on a method called the eclectic method, and we will talk about this in details. To wrap up what we have seen, an approach is the theory. A method is the plan. And the technique is the strategy the teacher uses in the classroom. Later on, we will deal with each approach and method in detail. We will see also the difference between approach, design, and procedure of Richards and Rogers. See you soon for a new video.